In this problem, we are given a directed graph and we are given two integers s and r and we need to write down a function, two paths that returns true if there are two distinct paths between, from s to r. So, if there are two distinct paths from s to r, then it will return true otherwise it will return false. Let me give you an example. For example, if we take uh, s is equal to 5 and r is equal to 8, uh, there is one path from 5 to 8 consisting of one edge and there is another path 5, 6 to 8 and this is a distinct path. Two paths are distinct if they do not share any edges whatsoever. So, in this case, your algorithm will return true. However, if I take s is equal to 2 and r is equal to 8, even though there are two distinct paths, uh, two paths from 2 to 8, 2, 5, 8 is one path, 2, 5, 6, 8 is another path, but these paths are not distinct because they share this one single edge from 2 to 5. Because they share this edge, they are not distinct. So your algorithm will return false uh, for this case. Uh, now, if you have an s is equal to 0 and r is equal to, uh, uh, r is equal to 8, then your algorithm also will return true because there are two distinct paths, namely 0, 2, 5, 8 and 0, 3 and 8. So your algorithm in this case will return also true. So how can we solve this problem? Well, by now you kind of had this trick before in problem 1 for this assignment. So Let's uh, just apply uh, logic. If we run BFS on S, and in my example, let me use S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 8. If I run BFS on S and R, uh, then uh, I will have parents array set uh, to these numbers. This would be parent of 2 will be 0, parent of 5 will be 2 parent uh, of uh, parent of 3 will be 0 and parent of 8 will be 3 because it will be uh, reached faster through this path. Um, so parent of 8 will be 3. Parent of 6 will be definitely 5. Okay. Uh, those are parents. I'm sorry, this parent of 3 is actually 0 and parent of 0 is 0. So, if I run BFS on 0, I will have these numbers stored in my parents array. Uh, then I can uh, backtrack my parent array uh, and mark all the edges on the path from 0 to this 8 with a negative 1. I can set weights on every edge to negative 1. So what did we do? We did BFS on S, then we need to backtrack we need to backtrack uh, starting with R from R what do we backtrack? We need to backtrack parents array from R and while you backtracking uh, you will find for example parent uh, P is equal parent of R. You need to scan adjacency list of this parent. Find this R in the adjacency list and only then set W of that edge to negative 1. So you really need to have for loop here uh, that 
looks at adjacency list of parent and if neighbor of some uh, if neighbor uh, is equal to R and what neighbor? Well neighbor is, remember that neighbor is adjacency of P of your index that you traverse this adjacency list with. So and you need to call neighbor. So you need to put that and write down word neighbor. I want to make sure that you can see what I write. So you find this integer n, which is a neighbor of p. And you need to compare if this n is equal to r. That means you found an edge from parent of r to r. So you found the edge from p to r. And you need to set the weight of this edge to negative 1. How do you do that? Well, you already have this index where your parent, uh, where n is equal to r, then just set adjacency of p of that index, you need to access that weight, w is equal to negative 1. So that's how you do it. Uh, this is kind of pseudocode outline, you can uh, make it uh, work correctly. So you, you're doing this inside the recursive function. Each recursive call will find parent of R first. If parent, uh, you do it until parent of R is equal uh, R, right? So if parent of R P is equal to R, you don't do anything, just return. However, if parent of uh, R is not equal to R, then you need to go through the adjacency list of its parent, find R as a neighbor inside the adjacency list, and after that set adjacency P of J W to negative 1. On the picture it will look like this. When I run BFS, I will set parents like this, and then I backtrack from 8. Uh, what is its parent? 3. Uh, so I backtrack writing, uh, I will find adjacency 3, or look through adjacency 3, find uh, 8 as a neighbor and set weight of this edge to negative 1. Then I call recursively on parent of this node, which is 3. In this node, I look up the parent of this node, it's 0, it's not equal to 3. So I'm going to look through the adjacency list of 0 and find a neighbor that is equal to 3 and set neg uh, that edge weight to negative 1. After that I'm going to call recursively on the parent of this current node which is 0. In here I will find parent of this node, it is 0. Compare it, is it the same as the current node? Yes it is, so I'm going to return this uh, function. So what we did right now is we set the first path weights to negative 1. So that when we run uh, BFS, let me remove this information here, so that we will run BFS and set edges uh, edges weights to negative 1. So step 3, you need to reinitialize parents array again. So initialize parents parents array again and uh, run uh, BFS on S again. So you run BFS on S again, but in this time, uh, this time when you run BFS on S, you need to make change to code of BS, uh, BFS, making sure that you do not, you check two conditions. First of all, you check if distance is equal to infinity, and second of all, uh, so you need to reset distance array here too. 
And second of all, you need to check if weight of that edge is not negative one. Only then you put the child into the queue. So two conditions. You run on S and uh, do not consider children or neighbors whose weight is negative one. Do not consider edges with weight is equal to negative one. So how does it work on our picture? I'm resetting my parents and distances here and I run BFS again on zero. It uh, checks to its uh, distance infinity so it sets parent to zero. It checks uh, three then but weight is negative one so it doesn't even push it into the queue. It doesn't concede, ignores this edge. And then it will pop this 2 from the queue, considers 5, uh, parent of 5 will be 2. Uh, then it will consider its children, parent of 6 would be 5, parent of 8 will be also 5. And uh, basically uh, it will return after that. And after that you need to check if distance array at R is not equal to infinity. If it is not equal to infinity, and of course you need to check it after the first BFS too, if it is not equal to infinity that indeed we found the second path that is distinct from the first path and your function can return true after that. 